hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today's story i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this outfit so these are the materials and the um the tools i'm going to be using for this tutorial so first of all i went ahead to mark my bust line my uh, shoulder to bust line which is 10 and then half So after that, what I did was to get my underbust line. So my underbust from my shoulder to my underbust, I got 13 and a half. So the next thing I did was to get my waistline. My waistline is 16 and a half. So after that, I went ahead and added two inches. You can go ahead and add one inches. This inches I added was for my hemming allowance. So the next thing I did was to get my neckline. My neckline I used was neckline of three and a half, as you can see. The next thing I marked was my shoulder line. My shoulder is 14 inches. 14 divided by 2, that is 7 inches. But I went ahead and added half inch to the 7. That is making it 7 and a half. The half inch is going to serve as my hemming allowance. So now I'm going to come down by half uh, by 1 inch for my shoulder slant and connect it to the neckline as you can see. So the neck depth I used was neck depth of 4 and a half inches. So I went ahead to use my curve rule to connect to make my neck. So coming over to the shoulder depth, what I, I did was bust divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches. So I got mine 7.6. So I went ahead and marked 7.6. So I'm going to use my rule to connect it all the way down in a straight line. So that's 7.6 inches of my armhole of my armhole depth is going to serve as my chest line so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to get the midpoint of this um armhole so i went ahead and marked my midpoint and i'm going to come in by half inch from that midpoint as you can see so before we connect the three points together what i'm going to be doing is to divide my bust by four inches so i'm going to divide my bust for, by four inches then i'm going to mark it on the bust line and also at the first line so now the next i'm going to be doing is to connect the point from the chest line the one at the shoulder line and the one at the mid line armhole with my cover, I'm going to connect it to my curve rule, as you can see. So having done that, so the next thing you're going to be doing is to divide your waistline by four. I'm going to divide my waistline by four and I'm going to mark it, as you can see me doing. So I marked it even to the hemming side. So, because this top is going to be a free top, it's not going to be a fit and it's not going to have an allowance, um, a zipper allowance. So, what I'm going to be doing is to add two, two inches by the side. It's going to serve, be free. That's one inch for the free, um, uh, for the free allowance and the other one for the hemming allowance. So, I went ahead and connected it all the way down. So once you get to this juncture, just know that you are done with the front piece. So the next thing I went ahead to do was to just to add um sewing allowance at the shoulder part. So I went ahead and added half inch at the shoulder part for my sewing allowance.
then I cut it out as you can see so while you are done you come over to the back part cut the back part the neck width I'm going to be using is neck width of three and a half and then the shoulder as well the same thing I did in the front I'm going to be marking my shoulder seven plus half inch is my allowance so that means it's seven and a half so I'm going to come down by one inch and connect it as my shoulder slope as you can see me doing so after that i went ahead to mark my neck depth the neck depth i used was neck depth of one and a half you can choose to use two depending on how you want yours to be so i used one and a half and i went ahead to connect it at my shoulder width so what i did next was to get my front piece i got my front piece and i placed it on top of my back piece so that i will be able to cut it out very fast as you can see i placed it and i'm going to going ahead to use my scissors to cut to trace out the line of the front at the back parts as you can see so after tracing it i didn't trace for the armhole part i just traced the chest part because the reason i didn't do that is because the armhole of the front and the back is a little different so i went ahead to make my chest line visible as you can see so i'm going ahead to connect my shoulder all the way to my chest line and then i'll get the midpoint just like i did in the front and i'll connect it uh, as a, on a straight line and then you know in the front we went in by half inch but at the back we are not going to do the same so that's a slight difference i was trying to explain so the next thing you're going to do is to connect the three points as you can see me doing i use my curve rule to connect it but if you're good at freehand you can still go with your freehand sketch So now after marking, after cutting your front and your back piece, you go ahead to cut your sleeve. The sleeve we are going to be using is just a basic sleeve. As you can see, I've already drawn out my basic sleeve. And the sleeve length I'm going to be using is sleeve length of 23. That's from my shoulder joint to my wrist joint, as you can see. So now I'm going to be dropping the link on how I made this basic sleeve though. So what you're going to be doing is from your sleeve from from your normal sleeve from there you get like eight or nine depending on how big you want yours to be that's total of everything should be um for mine was 13 and a half so i'm going to connect it to the to that part above as you can see me doing so now after that you are going to come to that part you're going to go up by half of an inch or one and one inch as you can see so you're going to mark mark i marked one inch for mine as so i'm going to connect it to that 13 inch point as you can see me doing it's going to be slanty like that but if you want yours to be more slanty you can go ahead and make like two inches up so this is the final sleeve i went ahead to cut the other part that's making it for one hand and the other one for the other hand so as you can see the outfit is the print is everything like i so much love the print of this fabric so what i am going ahead to do is to cut out what i'm going to use and turn up the neck to make it um neat so you're just going to fold the fabric as you can as i did and then trace it out the neck as you can see me doing so you just have to give it a slanty look at the under part so that it will look neater when you turn it over then how you're going to be turning it at right side facing the right side as you can see the right side will facing the right side mm -hmm. and then you go back to your sewing machine to stitch it so so that after stitching you can be able to turn it inside just like you see turn it inside you do the same thing to the back 
part as well so guys please subscribe to my channel like comment if you have a question please guys it means a lot to me and also to my other subscribers i really do appreciate and we have reached 1000 plus subscribers i love you so much so after that what you have to be doing is to cut your skirt so i'm going to be adding band of two inch i'm going to do doing minus two inch as you can see and then i'm going to mark my full length that is 19 as you can see so i went ahead to connect it on a straight line and then from that my full length of the, the skirt length i'm going to be adding two extra two inch allowance because i'm going to be hemming it with the two allowance So after that, I'm going ahead to my waistline. I'm going to be doing my waist divided by four inches. I'm going to mark it plus one inch of my dart. If you should, if you want to put that, you can add one inch there and then two inch for my sewing allowance. So I'm going to come down by my, my remember minus two. You're going to everything you'll be doing, you'll be doing minus two. So I'm going to get my hip line. My hip line is going to be eight and a half. So I'm going to be dividing marking my hip there hip, my hip divided by by four i'm going to be marking it there and then i'm going to be adding my two inch for my seam allowance i'm going to bring down the line from my hip line all the way down to my full length as you can see me doing so i'm going to be connecting the lines all the way and I'm going to be connecting my waistline to my hip line as you can see so be having done that the next thing we're going to be doing is to from that um, full length we're going to come in by one and a half inch because I don't I want it to be a little bit penciled so I'm going to be coming one and a half after marking the one and a half I'm going to connect it to the hip line as you can see me doing then after that you're going to be cutting it out with your scissors so the, my zipper is going to be at by uh, the side so i am going to be cutting the exact um amount that i did the first time so it's going to serve as both the front and the back so assuming i want to be adding my zipper at the back i'm going to be leaving at least one and a half or two inches for the zipper allowance at the back but then i'm not going to be adding my zip at the back so i'm going to be cutting exact thing that you can that i did in the front Okay, just like I said before, if I wanted to add my zip at the back, I'm going to be leaving like two inch, but I'm not going to be doing that. So I went ahead to trace it exactly the way I did in the front. I'm going ahead to notch the front, the back. So the next thing we are going to be doing is to mark our on our, our that place. Uh, my that place is going to be four inch, so I marked mine as well. So now I'm going ahead to cut our band. So my waist, my nose, my that is going to be 10 so i'm going ahead to mark 10 that's 10 plus 10 is going to be 20 so i'm going to be marking 20 of my band so the width of the band is going to be two inches plus half inch allowance so that's making it two and a half so i went ahead and marked two and a half to connect it so i'm going to be using my rule to connect the point as you can see me doing so i'm going to cut it out remember the band is going to be for the front and for the back part so i'm going to be cutting another piece for the back we are done with everything that we need to do is just to go and join to our sewing machine and the outfit is ready see my next video bye